Yo, what is up guys? Mace here, back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an edited by intro, like yarn and all those crazy editors. So, um, just open up a project, and what you're going to do is you're going to go to settings, just make it 1080p 60 frames. Uh, that's all, all you really have to do. Now you're going to go to effects, drag in a fusion composition. I like to make mine three seconds long, so just find the length you like it at. So I like it three seconds, then select a clip, and then cut it. You can also make it full length, but I recommend trimming it down. And then it'll show up for three seconds. So um, now what we're going to do is you're going to click on the clip, go to Fusion. And you're going to search, and you're going to go right here and press this text button. And you're going to connect it to the media out. Now we're going to do, type in your name, and then change the size to 0 0.0925. And then also change the font to Retrosha. I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> but um, after that, um, you can... And by the way, um, if you hold down Control and then use your scroll wheel, you can zoom in and out. So that's helpful. And then if you hold Control Space and then drag with your mouse, you can move it around wherever you want. So those are two helpful things uh, that you might need. Now what you're going to do is you're going to click on the text and press Control C. And then you're gonna press Control Shift V to paste it instead of Control V. Then you got this instance text right here, and you're just gonna drag it up a couple times to the to this one. Um, and then this text one, this text one up here until something pops up. Mm, that's weird. And just keep doing it until something pops up. You might have to do this again. Um, it sometimes it's weird. If it doesn't work for you, just keep trying. Of course, it's not going to work for me when I'm doing a tutorial. There we go. Okay. Um. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a. You're gonna press Control Space and look up Mask Paint. Uh, I don't know why it connected to that, but um, you're gonna get this Mask Paint node. And you're gonna connect it to your text and then after this you're gonna zoom in over here by the way doing control space and then move it around to adjust um you're gonna get this polyline tool right here at the top and you're just gonna trace your letter like your first letter and just try to make it as accurate as you can i'm not gonna make mine too accurate since it's just a tutorial and i'm gonna go quick but um there is an m and then what we're gonna do also is before you go to the next letter, you're gonna go here down to brush controls and turn the softness down all the way. And then that just, you'll see why in a little bit. So just keep doing that, repeat it for every single letter. So, and make sure you use a new mask paint for every time. And then um, you're also gonna get the polyline tool again, trace your letter out. Try to make it neat, like I said. I'm not gonna try. Um, now, oh yeah, and then go put this down this is all the way. Uh, mask paint, connect it. Then we're gonna go here, get the polyline tool, and then just trace it. Um, and then turn this down all the way. And let's just do one more. Oh god, that looks ugly. Okay, but um, that's all you have to do. So now we're gonna do. I don't know if my spline's gonna work right now. But you're gonna go into spline, and you're gonna go select all tools, and then you're gonna press fit. You're gonna press press this zoom to fit button. I don't know why mine's not working right now. To be honest, it's like really annoying. But um, like I to be honest, I really don't know. But just try. It'll work for you, probably. And you're just going to select this line, this whole line right here. You'll see one. Uh, once you press this zoom to fit, and then just press F, and then you can X out a spline. And also, one more thing before we get into, like, the colors and stuff. Um, you're going to go on each mask paint, and also go to the 40 second frame. So, go to the 40, and then two more with your arrow key. 
and then you're gonna go down here to stroke controls and then you're gonna do this you're gonna keyframe right on for every single one so just do that for every mask paint you have and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go all the way back to the first frame and then you're just gonna drag this all the way down and then drag it for every mask paint okay so now you have if you look on the instance text you have that cool um right on effect up here so that's that and then what we're gonna do you can delete this instance text now i'm gonna move this up so i have more space and now we're, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna press control space again look up background or the background node right here then you're gonna connect this gray over to this gray right here it's gonna bring up a merge so just leave that keep the background here then what you're gonna do is you're gonna press uh, control space again get up and bring up another background node and also get a time speed so then these two are gonna be connected and then drag this gray or white right here to this another merge will pop up and then just put that right there oh yeah you have to do this again connect this blue now to that and then you're good so now you're all connected um connect this time speed over here and then what you're gonna do this is gonna be the first color that you want it to be that you want your little stroke to be so right now i'm gonna just do i'll do a let's see what color scheme do i want it to be also so the first color is gonna be the color of the text it's like what do you I'm, i'll do a blue and purple i guess we want it to end in white though mostly so right here i'm just going to change this to blue so now now you're going to go down to this time speed right here and then change the delay to like six or seven so now i'm going to copy now select these two copy and then paste it over here connect this blue again and then connect the time speed to the merge and then you get that and then uh change the delay i'm going to change this to nine the frick um yeah, this definitely isn't right but um sometimes my davinci just breaks completely make sure the delay is six nine um i might have done something wrong it's probably my spline of course it shows up now okay uh select all tools boom okay this is the spline part if you missed it if you didn't get it so you just go select all tools and then press zoom to fit zoom out a little bit and then what you're going to do is you're going to select all this like just this whole this line right here and then you're going to press f and then it's kind of smoother i guess it's kind of lag um but basically that's it i'm going to change this to red actually since I've done it, and then just to white. Not this, to red. I don't have do not disturb for Discord. Of course, I'm going to do one more. Go all, connect that. And then connect that. I would recommend only doing one color for each. And my headset turned off. Okay. That is weird. It is wireless. But, um, bro, I am just, I'm, okay, I'm so sorry. Okay, but, um, after you do that, it should look something like this. It just wasn't loading in my thing. Like, I knew it should have worked. Uh, I got all confused. But, um, you can add as many colors as you want. If you want, you can go one more. And then just add this. But I would recommend only having it for one trail. It's actually not that difficult though to do it so if i want to make this there we go. okay so now it's gonna load but um yeah that's it pretty much also forgot one thing ha huh? um you gotta go uh, you gotta grab a text right here uh you're gonna find right when the animation finishes so right when all the blue is gone or whatever color you chose 
and then um, do that and then you're gonna put edited by and then do the same font and then 32 size and then you're just gonna move it why is that there you're just gonna move you're just gonna move it um, right to where you think is good so like right around there I think I'm gonna do like yeah like right there so now I'm gonna do the same thing I'm just gonna hold alt and drag up and I'm gonna change this to my ad uh, by the way follow me on Instagram I'm gonna start posting more on there I'm gonna move this one to the bottom and uh, now all you have to do for the final so now it looks like this and all you have to do is look up spiral white um, literally comes with any every like the standard da Vinci thing changes to 20 speed 20 milliseconds and then I'm gonna drag this up and then it's a spiral white and then you can add whatever transition you want I'm just gonna add a fade so I'm just gonna change that to like 25 25 and then just fade this out 25 and then um yeah that's pretty much an edited by intro you can go more advanced add some animations add some like shine to it but um pretty much that's all you gotta do if you guys like more of these tutorials make sure to like subscribe comment share you know all the stuff um but yeah, see you guys in the next one, and peace.